Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Libra please, angels? Spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans, thank you. Overarching energy is, oh wow, <laughs> the Ace of Cups, Libra. I mean, absolutely beautiful energy. One of the most beautiful cards in the tarot deck. Um, that's gorgeous. Okay. So message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Libra. Thank you. Yeah, we have move forward and it's to do with this Ace of Cups. It feels like you're being told to go for it, you know, go for what this Ace of Cups represents. Okay. <clears throat> and angels, what is the message for our lovely Librans? Thank you. 22nd. Okay. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Okay, Libra, so those are the overarching cards. Let's pull three cards now and go deeper into the message. So what do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Libra, 22nd to the 28th. Okay, so the first card, well, the first card is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Libra. We have Judgment, Four of Swords, Six of Wands. We have the Four of Wands there, Libra. And the Nine of Wands, okay. we have for Libra please angel spirits guides message for our lovely Librans thank you okay <laughs> okay so we have the death card the eight of pentacles clarifies the four of wands and the nine of pentacles clarifies the nine of wands bottom of the deck we have you Libra Okay, let's clarify this Four of Wands. Let's clarify this Four of Wands, the advice from Spirit. Okay, I have the Three of Swords and it came out more reversed than anything and I'm gonna clarify this. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. So we have the Six of Cups and the Two of Wands. Okay. I mean, this is beautiful energy, Libra, the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is to do uh, with joy. It's the cup of joy. So the cup of joy, and it's offered to you by angel spirits, guide, God, guides, God, the universe, the divine. So it is an opportunity, can represent new beginnings. It can be emotional new beginnings. It's not just physical new beginnings, the Ace of Cups. It can be emotional. Um, just where you're feeling self-love, happiness, the beginnings of happiness, the beginnings of 
a new emotional path unfolding for you, can be a physical path. Uh, can link with creative opportunity as well, can also link with new love, uh, friendships, pets, and so on and so forth. But the new happiness is available to you, new joy. And that's what you're being told. But for some of you, it involves some kind of decision. And it's a, it's a decision weighing up the past versus how you want to move forward in your future. So it could well be an energy here, Libra, of can you get the happiness back? You know, can I reconnect? Can I get the happiness back here? It, it feels for some of you that there is some kind of decision that you're making. Um, the, the Six of Cups can be a card of nostalgia, looking back, memories, can also be a card of, yes, it can be somebody from the past coming back into your life, but it feels like a reconnection with the past. Can I, can we reconnect to when we were happy? And it feels to do with a relationship. And there's some choice to make about your future. It feels like you're at a crossroads. Yeah, there is an opportunity to be happy. I can certainly tell you that much with the Ace of Cups. An opportunity for real happiness, new fulfillment, new emotional happiness, contentment, and so on. The me message is move forward intuitively, listen to your intuition and trust that in terms of how you feel. It feels like your intuition, heart energy as well, is really gonna guide how you make some kind of decision or choice. Hmm. I mean, you have Pluto energy in your challenge here. Um, and Pluto is the planet of, it's a cold planet as well, of, of death, destruction, transformation, rebirth, regeneration. So there's definitely an energy of the, the ace of, the Ace of Cups is emotional rebirth. So there's definitely an opportunity to come through the other side of a situation, but it feels like there is some choice that you're making, some decision in terms of whether to end something or not. It doesn't feel like you have the answer right now, and it's something that you're really considering, looking into, giving some deep thought to. Can we recover from this in terms of a relationship or do I just cut and run? You know, it feels that's what you're, can I come through the other side of the situation? It feels like someone has fallen from grace in your estimation by their actions here. It feels like there may have been some letdown in a relationship, a fall from grace, and you're wondering whether you can get back you know, you can get back what you had. And it's something that you're giving deep thought to. The message is don't make the judgment call until you have the answer, until you have the clarity. Um, because for some of you, the decision is going to stay with you for quite some time. It's a karmic decision. Uh, you know, when this karma is involved, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a fight. There's generally a finality attached to this. So that's why I feel you're giving some deep thought to the situation. Yeah. Spirit, the advice from spirit, we have the three of swords reversed with the four of, of wands. I mean, the four of wands is committed relationship, happy home. Um, it's a celebratory energy as well. So the eight, the eight of pentacles, Virgo energy, actually, I mean, there's healing associated with this, putting the effort and energy into this. It feels like the, what you're questioning Libra is, do I stay or do I go? And 
can I, can we recover from whatever the challenge has been and it feels like in terms of a relationship here, can we come through the other side of the situation because it feels like someone's had a fall of fall from grace. And there's definitely an energy here of, do I put my effort and energy into this? Is it worth me putting my energy and effort into this? Do I wanna work through a situation to the point where the pain that was caused me is finally healed. Sorry, the neighbours are banging, so I don't know why they're doing up the room, I think, next door, so uh, just hopefully we won't be disturbed too much. Um, but yeah, there is definitely this energy of um, the consideration of, can I master this? Can I overcome this? This is a card of mastery as well. So can we overcome this to bring positive change? I mean, spirit seems seems positive that you can. You can bring the stability back. There is an opportunity to heal from this. So what is making you hold back from making the decision? It feels for some of you there is definitely an energy of weighing something up between the heart and the mind and trusting your intuition before you make some kind of judgment call. Because the Nine of Pentacles is an energy of, yeah, you will be okay on your own. You will stand in your own abundance. You have everything that you need to bring success, material security, self-worth, self-esteem, you know, back in your life, that's for sure. But what is making you hold back? from going your own way, from walking away, from ending this. And that's the understanding that you need. So for some of you, there is a choice to make, a big choice. There are two paths available. And this is two paths available. You have two paths to stay, heal, recover, work through a situation. Um, three of Swords is emotional pain, upright, can represent third party situations, some truth that has, that has caused you hurt, emotional pain. And it feels in terms of a relationship here, there is an opportunity to work through this. And that's what Spirit is telling you. What is making you hold back? And once you understand what is making you hold back, what is making you resisting and ending here, what is making you resist drawing a line into something, it's because you're wondering, can we get back? Can we get back what we once had? And the message is there's new love, new happiness, emotional renewal, even renewal of love available to you. Um, so that's definitely what the cards are saying, Libra. Obviously, the message is move forward if you listen to your intuition you'll make the right choice, but you have two paths available to you and the message is choose wisely. Yeah, because it's a karmic choice. Powerful, powerful reading. I'm gonna pull you one more card. Any other advice for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides, any other advice for Libra? Any other advice for Libra, please? Any other advice for Libra? Thank you. Yeah, I think someone's sorry. Um, Page of Cups, King of Cups. I just feel someone's sorry. It feels like an established relationship here and someone is offering you the, the Page of Cups, an apology. Um, they want to start afresh, you know, they want to get emotional balance and stability back in the relationship and, you know, rise above the situation that has caused quite a lot of change. I'm definitely getting this fall from grace, fall in your estimation, that's for sure. But, you know, there's definitely some kind of apology coming your way and a choice to make. Okay. But for what it's worth, Libra, if it helps your decision, what they say is what they mean. I definitely feel someone is, is speaking from the heart, you know, their emotions, how they feel about you. Okay. Okay. 
So I have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on its way, okay? We have also bottom of the deck. I looked at it, so I'm going to... I'm going to, when I look at the cards, I, I put them forward. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Yeah. This could be an apology with gifts, flowers, chocolates, probably bigger gifts than that maybe. Um, but definitely I have to say that this is really weigh something up very carefully because this decision is going to stay with you for some time. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.